Welcome to Tinkernut.com's videocast. If you have any questions, please email me at admin at Tinkernut.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create free flash animations to embed in your website or to use as executable presentations. So the free program that we're going to be using to do this is called PowerBullet Presenter, found at PowerBullet.com. If you go to their website and click on the download link from the menu, you can download and install their program. So once it's installed, it should automatically launch. So I'm just going to go through a quick tutorial on how to create an animation. I just uh, am going to create a new project and label it Opening. And now I'm just going to go to Insert, and this allows you to insert different shapes and objects. So I'm j I just inserted a rectangle. And now if you go up to Draw Settings, it'll allow you to adjust the settings. So let's add a gradient to this rectangle. To do that, just drag this little square to the line. And uh, I'm going to drag this all the way to the far left. And then drag another one to the line. And if you double click on it, it will allow you to change the color. So now I'm just dragged a third one to the line. And I'm going to drag this off to the far right. And now I'm going to adjust the angle to give it kind of a horizontal look. And when you click OK, it should apply the settings. Now it looks weird here, but if you click on the little preview button, it'll show you what it actually looks like in a browser. So now I'm going to go up to insert again, and this time I'm going to insert an image. So this is uh, the little Tinkernut acorn, um, and now I'm just going to insert the rest of the Tinkernut logo uh, using the individual letters. So there's the T, and if I go to insert image again, I can add the I. And I'm just going to continue this until I have uh, the complete logo on, on the stage. So now that we've got that, what we'll need to do is animate it. So to do that, just select one of the images to am animate and go to selection and animation effects. And I'm going to make this jump in from right and click OK. Now, if you, I click preview, it shows you what it'll look like. Now I'm going to select the eye, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to select uh, jump in from right, but this time I'm going to select the time, the delay offset to 0.25, and that's going to delay this from actually starting. And I'm going to do the same thing with the end. Um, go to jump in from right, but I'm going to select the delay to uh, 0.49 and that's going to allow this to uh, uh, it's going to give it a delay each one of these a delay so that they don't all come in at once so on the last one I just set that one to two seconds and if I click preview this is what it's going to look like then you can add other animations and text links but when you're through go to file and export and then you can go to the folder you saved everything in and it will have an executable file like this one that you can send to different people uh, through email or, or various different ways and you also have an htm and uh, opening.swf file now these are what you want to import in into your website so here's my little FTP server so I'm just gonna drag both of these to my website FTP so there's the HTM file and there's the SWF file. And so now that it's on my website, I can go to that location on my website, which is podcast slash opening slash opening dot HTM, and it will show it on my website. And if I click click here to enter, it takes me to the website. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more go to tinkernut.com.